Hello everyone, welcome to Sack Anime's YouTube channel. We're here today with one of our guests of honor, Roger Bumpus. He is the voice of the man himself, I'm sorry, the squid himself. Is he a squid or is he an octopus? He's an octopus, but octo-word just didn't quite cut it. <laughs> That's very true, of course. So tell us how you got the part. I auditioned for it. Oh, all right. And I paid them off. All right, so did you expect the show SpongeBob SquarePants to be as successful as it is? In a word, no, certainly didn't. We, I, I auditioned, I, I got the part, we did the session, I saw the pilot, and I said, it's okay. And two years later, I said I worked on the show, and the people's eyes got big as saucers, and they went, oh, wow, you work on that show? And that was my first indication that we were onto something there. And it, and it expanded the parts, uh, made it a lot more uh, uh, humorous, and the uh, rest is history. It's been wonderful. The first episode I saw in 1999 was the Krusty Krab Pizza episode. Remember that? I have a, a, a still frame from that one, uh, Krusty Krab Pizza, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's not a it's not a stone, it's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock, a big big beautiful rock. <laughs> Hold on there, Jethro. <laughs> That was really good. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. The Krusty Krab. I'm done. Oh. Look at that. What's that? Is that the cheese? Mmm. <laughs> Let go of the pizza! <laughs> this is too good. This is rocking my childhood right now. And now that you mention it, SpongeBob is on its 15th anniversary. Am I right? Chronologically, yes. But we only have nine seasons because we took two years off to do the first movie. And we're taking two years off to do this second movie, which, by the way, is just about ready, folks. Uh, February, uh, the SpongeBob movie 2, Sponge Out of Water. Uh, uh, somewhat starring in the live-action version, at least, uh, Antonio Banderas as our uh, main uh, live-action villain. And all of us, all the way through it. And it's, it's going to be good. It's funny. 3D, too! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so everyone knows you for Squidward, of course, but is there any other roles, any major roles, like your favorite roles, perhaps, that aren't Squidward? <laughs> Uh, in Invader Zim, which has been become a uh, cult, we uh, that our cameraman's face just lit up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so cute. And uh, it, it became a cult thing that uh, obtained its own convention, uh, InvaderCon. We just finished uh, the InvaderCon three in Austin, and a whole new generation of, uh, of of people have found it. Mostly young girls for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> And uh, my, my character in that was uh, Professor Membrane, who uh, he has that our, I iconic thing of, son, not now, I'm making toast. <laughs> my parents never let me watch Invaders and they thought it was too edgy for a five-year-old. It was edgy for a 25-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so I still can't watch it. Okay, final question, kind of a general question. What is your advice for expiring actors like myself? Follow the dream, that's not a cliche always go as far as you can throw the marbles out if you don't for the rest of your life you're gonna sit and wonder in the back of your head what could have happened the only failure guys and girls is not trying he's right you know so can Squidward take us out of this video up now. <laughs> so can Squidward take us out for this video this is Squidward J Tentacles saying bye bye what is your advice for aspiring actors be good with taking a lot of criticism <laughs> <laughs> All right, can Ezio Auditorio take us out? Uh, yes, with his hidden blades. Get it? Good, did it? Take us out.